Ash first pick. Oh, there's Sheer, the little baby top laner. Let's see how he does against Bin. He's gonna get blasted or what? I feel like Bin's just gonna destroy him. Okay, Varus takeaway makes sense. Now via Jarvan. Or, uh, I don't know if Orianna can be that high with Nocturne down. Jax is down as well, and Rumble. Cassante would be a BLG thing to pick on three. There's Knight's Nico. Yeah, I'll probably pick Orianna into that. I don't think he'll pick Silas. And you have to match AD here, so what do you pick AD? What does Ruler play with Ash support? Maybe they do Ash Melior actually? And they play Ash AD? I wouldn't be surprised if PLG 3 pick Cassante here. It's like bin number one thing to do on, on red side. Lee Sin? What the fuck? XDD. Orianna Lee Sin? Vi would be great. Yeah, they're gonna, not gonna go for Cassante and get the Vi. Makes sense. I think Cassante ban is a must by JDG. And BLG maybe a Tom Kench ban? Wouldn't hurt actually. The cover off Ash AD. They're gonna ban Sivir, that's also fine. JDG, what else could you ban? Could do Cassante Nort, Cassante Blitz. Yo, what is this quality dropping all the time? He wants to play Gwen into it, doesn't he? Because they have Vi and Nico. What happens if he blinds Gwen on BLG side? What happens if Bin blinds Gwen with Jackstown and Renekton? Ah, Aatrox. Oh, it's a Camille game, isn't it? Oh, sheer Yone. What? 16 year old just slams his Yone. Or is he 18? I don't know. Renata? Oh, it's a, it's a Blitz game then. I mean, it's good as well. I want to see on Blitzcrank though. On Blitzcrank is a classic. They also have a lot of dive. Ooh, Rakan is good with their comp, but that lane is impossible. Okay, they're going to go for it. Hey! Hey! One sec. Can you press... Dude, dude, press subscribe. Just press subscribe. Okay, enjoy the video. Talk to me, talk to me. What are we saying? Dude, all I'm saying is Sheer is finally not on Jax. <laughs> <laughs> we fought, we got we get to see this man in game one of a best of five against Bin bring out the Yone top. I want to see if they can do well. I want to see if they play around it. I guess is my biggest thing because I, uh, I definitely feel like BLG is favored. I still can't believe this kid is 18 or something and he's never played yeah, professionally dude. in his life and he's playing JDG starter. Uh, like there must be something wonderful about him like in his gameplay. But the only thing he's been doing so far is playing Jax. And he's been smurfing it though. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, if you got one good thing, you're glad it's a Jax. Yeah. Well, Ooh, this bot lane though is a little bit of a rough. This bot matchup's horrible. Picking Rakan into Renata is uh, a bit of a psycho move. At least with Blitzcrank, they'll have kill pressure. But I mean, they're playing Vira Rakan, so their team fights will be really good. Yeah. Uh, but I that was lane phase is unplayable. At Ash. Uh, Ash pit, like first of all that Ash was let through, but then also that Ash ADC is what was what was ended up grabbed on for JDG. Interesting. Well, Shun's patting top, and I'm passing to Shears lane. Maggie's doing the same. Their speed is similar, but it's a bit quicker. Um, but JDG, I always got a backup option playing through bots. I mean, Elkanon have been insane in the Masia Cup. They've basically been two v two killing everyone. But um, I don't really think they'll be able to do anything with this matchup though. Hey, it's a uh, it's a it's a matchup we know well, at least in terms of play. I think my doorbell rang. One sec. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to solo for like two minutes. One sec. Yeah, you're good. You're good, bro. Ooh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of vision game actually. Give it over like that. And but it does mean that uh, they will see Shun just pathing towards the top side of the map. Exactly what I expected. What I expect is that. Mr. Shear is gonna get a lot of love from both Shun and from Maggie. <laughs> we'll see if that actually remains the case, though. Wonder, do we actually get a skirmish over the scuttle crab? Shun's gonna start it first, push it back towards his side. Meanwhile, bot lane two v two, missing has to flash. The big cooldown used by the Renata, but the heal was used. Elk's gonna flash forward because he realizes missing has no way out. The piercing arrow is there and first blood goes to BLG's bot lane. The mad elk is alive and well here in 2024. Ooh. Oh, ruler with the flash. I was gonna say, you know the piercing arrow is coming. Here seems in a little bit of trouble against Ben up here. Don't know if he wanted to take that one, but he does have some decent life steal back available to him. That lethal tempo is starting to work its magic. And now, actually, Knights having a heavy health trade 
pretty early on. This is also a classic matchup that we know well. Oh, and one that Yagao knows real well. He'll get his solo bolo against his friend, Knight. Did Yagao just solo kill Knight? <clears throat> did he that did. really just happen? He did. What's been going on this that game since I've been away? actually insane. I thought that, uh... I thought I was like, okay, Knight's been hell trading pretty heavily, okay. And then you see the flash come out immediately from your guy. <laughs> My god. Okay, I want to see the replay of that. Where was the other kill then? On bot side? How did they get a 2v2 kill bot in this matchup? Virus Rakan yeah. into an alpha? Yeah, well, you're about to find out. <laughs> so missing just steps was, up uh, too far? Yep. And then he steps and up as again? As soon as missing walks up, Alk's like, I got you. Wow. Like they didn't even play on the Rakan W cooldown. They just, they just flash forwards for the for the E to just connect auto attacks with Rakan. I'm surprised here in the mid lane though. Does he level like, up? I, I, Does he, he gets... level up and then just all in him or? I cannon? think he just flashes. I didn't actually catch the uh, the level up. Yeah, I guess he did just level up and all in. Knight wants to crash the wave. He uses the W. Clone first. Oh yeah. my god! And Knight's dead Ooh, again. It's, Flash uh, it's like still available. Vu. Flash still available on both those deaths. Knight is kind of running it. That golden left flash is going to be real useful next game uh, for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what he's though. saving his flash forward. Maggie's looking bot. Not much to do here, though. It was pretty funny. Uh, the pathing earlier, both towards top, trying to give tops of love, and then they run into the scuttle crab. They have a little skirmish, and then that was it. So both junglers kind of just feeling themselves early, just have a good farm. Now Shun is actually going to go proactive and get the Infernal Dragon, which I always love a solo Infernal Dragon. Mm, yep, should be an easy pickup. Sorry, I'm just chewing on something. Is it delicious? That's the mm -hmm. real question. All right, there we go. Uh, it's all Thanks. worth it in the end. I was like, I'll chew this down quick. <laughs> They're still uh, waking up getting the series too, so it's fine, it's fine. I do really like the BLG's playing really proactive here, though. I, I think early on, it's really good, especially if you're not getting those big leads. I, I feel like, again, going back to the Ash pick is a little peculiar. Yes, he's ruler. Yes, he's insane. Ash is not always the most consistent, like, carry-type champion, right? That's why she's really good as the supportive role. I'm really interested if ruler can actually pull this one off. Yeah, we'll see what he can cook up, but Sheer is actually winning this top matchup quite handily. I mean, his CS lead isn't that big, but you can see the trades are already good. It's probably a good matchup for Yone early anyway, because Aatrox is so reliant on getting points in Q. Because the cooldown is just so long. Well, keep an eye on top. Going. Yeah, I want to see if they actually get anything up there. But yeah, right now, the level advantage. he's got that uh, cease and desist ready to go. Maggie, not able to get level 6 in any way, shape, or form. Does go back in because he's got Ruler behind him. Now you've got the approach velocity. Kick it for Ruler. And Shun's oh. got to be careful. He's going to burn his flash. The rest of BLG are coming on their way. Knight will get hand shook oh, out nice of that ult. one. It's Corruption Connection. And that will be another kill. And guess who it's on to? Missing as BLG roam the bot lane. That was a bit of a weird stare down between the Vi and Lee Sin. The Vi can't really ult the Lee Sin because if he war jump flashes on the tower, then Vi dies. He can kind of pull her with him. So he didn't really <laughs> want to full commit. And uh, Knight was looking for a flash ult there, but he actually got pulled back by Missing's Renata Q. Does end up falling, trying to save his team with Varus ult. Missing's been uh, leaving himself out to hang a little bit a couple times, and uh, BLG will pick that one up right away every time. I also just want to say, BLG's vision game oh, the arrow. is totally on bot lane, but it doesn't matter, because they are looking mid for JDG and Knight. He's about to die for a third time. Yagao just says, hey, welcome 2024, bud. Oh, JDG are doing so well, playing through this mid lane. One mistake by Knight, and now it's unplayable for him. One gank, and then the Ash Arrow. That's three deaths. That's going to be Herald too. I don't know if BLG can contest this. They have ultimate on Vi, but it looks pretty impossible without the Nico being there. Still has flash up, Knight. See what he can get done with it. He needs to be. He needs to pull off a <laughs> massive fight with that flash that he saved three times. Three times, no big deal. He's just not allowed to use it. That's what it is. It's this game must be a bit personal though between Yao, Yao and Knight. Swapping it teams. Does. Hey, kick off the year, swap the teams. I'm JDG, a gal is back home where he always should have been, everybody's saying. Like, it's going to be impressive. Also, it's a 9 minute and 22 second Ludens, which not too shabby on an Orianna. Yeah, he's mo mo monster fed. But this is with a substitute jungler as well. If BLG lose this series, 
against JDG with a sub jungler. That's a little bit awkward for Kanavi, I guess. But it's also awkward for bit. BLG because they're like, we lost to a sub. He was backing and shot the arrow. What a sniper. Let's see. Is there any moment for Knight to have actually Nah, flashed? there's nothing he can do. He yeah, should just flash the arrow, I guess. Dead, but he yeah. tried to W it, but it, he kind of missed the angle. Yeah. But uh, on him, uh, shouldn't... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> We're too polite. We're too polite. Uh, I will say, I was watching the Yagao, like, subtitled interview or whatever that they had. And it was really interesting because he's taking it as easy as ever. And he was saying, you know, we've had a really good connection because we played with each other for, like, two weeks. Uh, mm. So I guess that's all you need to really make this connection work here. And Maggie's making it work pretty well so far. Yeah, it's been going really well. The only thing I have to be careful of now is Shunan on level 6 on uh, Nevi and Rakan. Those ults are really dangerous. There's not much counterplay. Even though Yagao is really fed, he has no boots, right? He's playing full mythic, no boots. His mobility is quite limited. He gets caught out by the uh, the Vi or Rakan. He is dead, and that's a big shutdown back to Knight. Missing is probably going to toss out the Q here. Yeah, I think we're on should be pretty safe. He's also got Shun on the way bot, and that connection has mm -hmm. been made. Dragon coming up in about 40 seconds, a little early to have any presence down here. Would wonder if they want to try to get some vision around that as well. See if BLG are actually the ones that want to play around that. But right now, trending, we're seeing Shun go into the invasive posture. Elk is 1,000 gold up on Ruder. Ooh, just a little under. I'm telling you, the the Ash, it's, it's underwhelming. I, like, I'm I'm interested in how Ruler makes this guy. Because if anybody can make Ash like a super carry, it's got to be Ruler. And uh, you also have Yagao to play around. So I think JDG are pretty safe with options. But the fact that Elk is going to be a strong point for BLG is something to be fearful. Of. I mean, Ruler is the Ash auto spacer. Like in team fights, yeah. when this guy has the attack speed, you <laughs> will see him have the moves. So Dustblade finish for Bin. He's hovering bot side for this dragon spawn. Maybe he thinks it's guaranteed on the 4v4 or he has to go catch top wave and TP in. Maggie's oh. going a bit deep here. On baits Maggie a little bit there. Now he might be in a little bit of trouble. Gets about half his health burned down. Oh, Knight. Knight's going to pop the pop blossom. Connects on a couple of them. Maggie's going to be in some trouble. The shockwave comes down. Maggie's not alive. W. The bailout's not going to be clutched there. And that was a huge chance of corruption from Elk. Now Shears in some trouble. Going at least sealed fate his way out of that one. And JDG come away worse for wear. They also will lose the dragon. That was a bit of a messy fight, wasn't it? I mean, On had to use the ultimate on Maggie. They didn't get the kill, so they had to commit. But then Yagao's ultimate only hit On. Both teams just wanted that initial kill. Maggie needed to kill the Rakan to survive. And On needed to get the hell out of there. So it's just a kiting game. Oh, Knight misses the E-Flash. <laughs> Big mistake by the, uh, the Nico there. He's uh, he's a little salty from uh, what's happened to this late so far. Is that he what he saved his flash for all game? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's... that's what he saved it for. Oh, man. okay. And 40 seconds. Okay. So let's look at it. So Maggie actually gets baited over the wall. On thinks that's a kill, but only knights around. He hits the E, but there's no damage. Doesn't want to commit the ult. Lee Sin W's back over, and now BLG realize they have to fight. They've just invested Rakan ult. Knight gets a nice knock up, but now watch the shockwave here. Just a battle of support jungle. They yeah. need the kill. They all ran ult. On kites it away. Nice ult by Elk to peel. And uh, just turned into a 1 for 0. Here, realizing he has to ult backwards. Doesn't have access to that Kraken Slayer yet, so it's a bit hard for him to take the 1v1. The fact that On got out there was actually really smooth moves. Because uh, that bailout was coming right away for Maggie, and they knew it. And they tried to, tried to get it as best they can, but they couldn't. Mm. I also want to look back. I think consistently since about 5 minutes or so, BLG have had huge vision coverage around this bottom side and that's typical because on does like to roam right but they are continuing to strengthen this bottom lane i mean that's the strongest point of blg i feel like at times sometimes bin's a bit hit or miss or knight's a bit hit or miss but their bot lane's been incredibly solid you gotta feed oh, what? the elk <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to stop a recall <laughs> he knows that sheer <laughs> wants the base for his kraken blast cones right next to him to get in range of q1 He's got so a present. Yeah, he does. Bot tower might be dead. It's a bit hard for Yagao to walk up. No TPs on JDG. BLG have double TP advantage, so it's really hard for them to make a play in defending something. Looking towards top, but they're just trying to get a reset for sheer. Bit of recovery time right now for JDG. They need one or two minutes to get the resets off and get the mythics complete. No blade on Ash. Kraken just picked up. 
Now that they got the Kraken coming back out to lane, though, I feel like this next Rift Herald fight is going to be a little bit favored for them now. They have uh, some big item spikes, but as well as just a lot of strength in the skirmishing for their team composition. Uh, and we have that in about 15 seconds. Yeah, level 11 coming in for Knight is huge, but no flash is a bit dangerous. Gonna have to play the, the TP, Ash I think. Arrow again. Mm. I think JDG are I'm just a bit too behind on items. Rulers. Yeah, that is true. I, if they get a big setup with uh, Ash ulti from Ruler, though, that could be the big difference maker. I think that's always the strength of JDG's composition at this point, is they do have really good pick power. Yeah. We'll see what uh, happens, but JDG have set up. Maggie can look for a kick onto Elk. That would be a massive play. Also try and kick away the Nico. Nigal's taking a reset, maybe trying to pick up some boots before the fight. And Get the standoff begins. Yeah, BLG will push in mid and move up. We'll see if On has Sweeper available. Run's trying to make a pick before the Herald. Cheer can get a lot of like gap close out up. towards his own tower. Needs to be careful though. Needs to be ready to ult backwards if he commits. Ah, he got seen. <laughs> he was playing with the vision game, but uh, unable to do so. Now they'll actually move back down. Uh, JDG were already in position to get, get some of this vision down. They also got the Scuttle Crab. Be on. Try to go for an engage on the Maggie. She was right behind him. Shun's coming Knight? up behind on Ruler. Doesn't have flash Knight, though. Rather. <laughs> oh, he got knocked back though by the handshake. Really good He's call. He's gonna and die, then I think. Maybe. Adrenus arrow back. And, and the chain of corruption come out through as oh. well. And BLG are pouncing onto the main carry of Yagao. Shears getting pretty strong. Elk is in some trouble now as well. And it goes down to Maggie. You got World Ender Aatrox Bin coming at you though. Be able to get one back. Now it's four to three. We'll see if BLG can actually get out of this one alive. Ruler is still scary on the back in a lot of these trades. Oh, oh Shun goes in for the play and Ruler goes down. Where's JDG's damage? What, what's happening? No one's dying on BLG. They're all too healthy. Nice kick from Maggie got Elk, but Yagao's ult didn't go off before he died. And then Ruder didn't really get as much uptime as he wanted. I don't know where the Yone ult went either. I feel like it probably missed. How is BLG all so healthy? It's crazy. <laughs> they were able to set that up so well. And also, the, the fact that Shun sticks around to try to go for that play knowing he has the flash play on it. Now reset coming back out. We just got fights. We didn't even get objectives. I'm sure we'll get yeah. one on the back end. This was a clutch save from missing. Yeah, nice pushback. So Ash Arrow hits. TP comes in. Yagao gets charmed. Punched. Knocked up and rooted. The ultimate didn't go off. You can see it just gets cancelled at yeah. the end. Yone goes in. Nice kick flash gets Elk. But that's all their damage gone now. It's just auto attacks from Ash is all they can rely on. But Bin is frying. So Bin if they got that shockwave off, then I feel like the health pass would look a lot different for Ruler to play a bit more. And then Shun just punishing Ruler stepping up here with no flash because he forced it um, earlier at night with the new gold. I think Ben is uh, going to be a difficulty for JDG to cross, but they are still playing proactive. They were starting up the dragon here. Will be their first dragon and denying BLG from a third in a row. I think BLG are fine with that. They will trade that for the Rift Herald, at least should have. Uh, we'll see actually Ben get the TP out of Sheer towards topside. Well, they're matching. Nice. But they really want this cross map to happen. They really want that top tier one. I think the reason Knight's doing that is because Botswave is so far pushed up into JDG's side, he doesn't really have a job to do. There's no reason for him to be on that bot side of the map. He's not got a wave to catch. He can't really get towards mid. And they want to play for Herald anyway, so may as well TP up here and get that tower. Looking for a bit more damage here. Yagao doesn't have TP, so BLG can force up here as much as they want. They don't think they'll get this tower, but they're just pressuring them. Trying to keep them underneath this uh, objective to try and make them share XP. Well, Knight's Ooh. maybe... Oh, Sheer gets the combo off. He pulls the trigger. The Sheer on the tower. Sheer huh? walks away from the explosion like one of those cool guys. Now you got the cease and desist right back. Missing caught out, unfortunately. Chain to corruption connects as well. And the CC chain from hell arrives. And JDG didn't have a ticket. They were kicked off. Here come the here come the Avengers. BLG got the midwave in. They got the Herald. And now two more members show up to try and help. Oh, Ruler might be in trouble. Oh, oh missing. Uh, on misses. Oh, he gets the pullback too. Ruler getting knocked back by Maggie, saving, or at least Ruler being saved by Maggie's knockback. Now Elk getting in trouble here with the Shockwave. They pick one up. It's just picking up scraps here or there as Rift Herald gets another charge. Uh, BLG used tempo so well. You could see it was a cross map. Dragon for top tier one trade. But instead of defending bot tower, BLG just TP top and kind of called um, JDG's bluff. They started pushing in. 
And Yagao was greedy. He didn't reset. He wanted to keep pushing out bots, so they had a massive numbers advantage. So they just force on the top side of the map, and they get themselves two towers. You can see here, Knight gets pulled backwards. Oh. Yone Q hits, and then the Yone ultimate. So he gets a lot of damage down. Snap and back, final tower shot follows. Cut. Yeah, and then Shun decides to Herald, because Yagao is still bot. And uh, Missing gets taken out by the Violet. Shear steps up too far. Elks collapsing from mid, rulers under tower. The carries of uh, JDG just aren't there to respond. Yeah. Three towers taken and two the kills. Fact, yeah, the fact that the Rift Herald got yet another charge into the inhib after all of this too, it's just worse damage there. A nice little pullback cleansed out of instantly, but that will be Elk burned in the end. So now that we're going back to live, we see a lot of presence around the Baron Pit, and that is presumably so. We should get JDG's presence more heavily out there, but it looks like BLG want to contest a little bit. If they can, Rulus Flash isn't up yet. If they know that, Shun can just pull the trigger onto him. Knight's trying to find his way around the side. They see the pink ward on blue buff that they might need to clear out. On is uh, just really annoying on this record. It's also just he all of 2023, he was a monster on it. Uh, and will continue to be so 2024, presumably. Nothing else going to happen so far, though. We're just looking at side lane pressuring right now. I think BLG really want to pull the trigger. I mean, the Ooh. Ash Arrow is going to miss onto Elk. Didn't have cleanse. That could have been a massive pick. But now Yagao might be in trouble. Oh. Hi, Yagao. Oh. Do you remember me? My name is Shun. And uh, you were my teammate last year. <laughs> and yeah. uh, he takes me down. That's another big one. The guy had to use the flash as well. It's so bad. Yeah. BLG can maybe set up on this top side. So they're going to start Baron. They have good damage for it because of the uh, Rage Bait on Barris, but they don't have good turn. The only turn they have now is the Rakan ult. We'll see how JDG plays it. It's a bit difficult. They're just trying to bait some time so that Bin can have some effect. Bin does also have a TP, but more so just trying to get the tier 2 tower down there. It's a bit difficult. Aatrox is not the best bit pusher, but he'll get some damage on it. I think they should be in time to respond to the push. But now they're going to start it again, again, maybe. Just a game of seesaw, really. Push and pull. And it's what you should do when you have a decent lead like this, right? You got to force the hand of JDG. And they do have about a 6,000 gold lead. We will end up getting JDG's presence around here while that tier 2 does go down. So that'll be a big chunk of gold. 700 right there. And uh, BLG will continue firing away. That was really well played, though, by BLG. One pick, start Nash, bait, hit bot tower. Start Nash, bait, um get bot tower and that Aatrox just got so much gold from that play so yeah good good macro good team play to snowball the game a bit level 14 that's, now uh, that's one of the things that we've actually seen a lot of for them they i will say blg have had some fun early games they have uh they've been in some deficits in this demacia cup but the thing is is once you get to where decision making matters where objectives are, are the push and pull of the game that is where blg turn on they just inherently have those good decision making skills and here we see with a lead over jdg they're able to do that just as well and we do have dragon coming up soon see if jdg want to fight it the only thing they're really missing is sterax and maybe a second item on ash but it's not going to get any better all summoners up for blg the gal missing that flash actually on slash isn't up yet so that makes it a bit easier for Yagal. but i think he has so many spells to dodge he has no zonias either I was looking for some TP wards, but it doesn't seem like there's many here down bottom side. We oh, should be get getting murdered, some more now we get more presence. I think JDG is going to get sandwiched in a second. It's going to be horrible. On has one side, Shun has another. Knight has one side, oh, and so does Bin. If I you walk Knight into this, seen. you're going to get pincered. Oh, Shun just pulls the trigger before JDG can do anything. Here comes that pincer trap. It looks like Shear is able to find Elk. Is he able to kill him, though? He gets the ADC in the back line, but now he must return to a dead team that BLG were able to clean up. Ruler's gone. Yagao's gone. Mystic's gone. And BLG are running away with this one. Look at the distance that BLG can cover. Yagao was... He looked like he was okay, but you can see Knight can just flash straight over the wall. Shun can gap close with the ult. There's nowhere for him to go, and they have so much dive that Elk is always just going to be kind of left by himself saying, guys, uh... Yeah. I'll try and live. <laughs> um, we'll but yeah, try. I'll survive. In this world? Nah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they're... If the Yone and Lee Sin are diving on the Varus, that's two champions less to peel from the, for the carries, right? So, I think yeah, BLG exactly. are happy to use Elka's bait. They will uh, leave him out in the field and hope all the hunters come around. Now, the fact that the actual killers are going to be uh, Maggie and Sheer on the back line. We did get the 
Baron taken as well as the uh, the dragon. I believe got stolen away or taken away rather by uh, by uh, JDG, and BLG will be much happier with that Baron. Look where Oriana's standing. It's not like she's in a bad position. Yeah. It's just look at the gap close from BLG, and then you can see there's two fights happening. It's Yagal trying to survive, and then it's Ruler trying to survive. He's got Bin and on on him, and Knight and Shunner on top of uh, Yagal. Elk is the um, the bearer of the bad news. He's the one that's just kind of stuck there. Not much for him to do. Actually, a really big pop loss in there too. Yeah, it was a uh, was a good pop loss. I mean, I think I think when you have Nico Flash ult and Hexec Proto Belt. It's kind of hard <laughs> to only ult one person. I think you have to be in thing. Gotta, uh, gotta find those angles. They did indeed. Now they'll be right back to it. Uh, invading the red side of JDG. You should get this crash with the Baron buff in mid lane and bot lane. Oh, arrow hits. See the enchanted with Crystal Arrow with the shockwave on tonight. Knight's just gone out of the play. Shears taking a top side outer tower as well. And BLG will be one less member with the Baron buff. They get top tier one from that as well. The Holebreaker Yone has some nice push potential. That makes Bin have to reset and answer top, which frees up Yagao to catch bot waves without being in, under any threat. So, kind of slows down the siege a bit. We'll see if Shun just wants to ramp up the game. They are at a 3v4 right now. Let's we'll see how far these blast cones can take him. <laughs> it's the triple blast cone. Bro, I, uh, I, I actually. I actually remember when Blast Cones got introduced to the game, and I saw them, and I thought, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Why is there a plant <laughs> that makes me jump over a wall? But over and time, I was like, actually, infinite. they're kind of fun. They're kind of useful. They kind of fit to the game. At first, I thought they just didn't fit the game at all. But now I yeah, don't mind it's them. it's like a completely weird mechanic. That's how change is, though. You know, it takes a little bit, and then it feels like normal. Now I feel like the rift would be very weird without blast cones and heal plants and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure yeah. uh, BLG would be very, very unhappy to just be running around an empty jungle right now. Yeah, I also think the TikTok Nico ult blast cone with the big blast cone is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, Sheer knows Ooh, Knight was a Maggie. minion. It's going for Elk, they though. They actually got him. Elk's going to insta-cleanse the handshake. The Enchanted Crystal Arrow comes out as well. A lot utilized there, but unable to grab Elk out of the back line. Maybe he didn't know he was a minion. He was probably looking at Elk there. It was Knight who... Kind of came out of the form to help out a little bit on the peel. They got the cleanse out of Varus. Ash Arrow's not up for a while though. Shun's pushing in top. That mid tier two might be down. And I'm not really it's sure really what JDG can do Steve. to respond. I mean, they can get dove here if they walk up too far. Ruler is really, really vulnerable to a gang uh, to a Ooh, dive. Double shockwave there. That's big with the unsealed fate on top of the hostile takeover. Han almost dies to Elk in the end, and BLG are running for the hill. No flash. Spear connects in the end, and Elk is just caught out. Bin wants to make it even, but he has just made himself even deader. As words leave, and Shun gets a, a solo bailout? kill on the ruler. He's not going to get bailed out. He's <laughs> down to a solo bolo to shoot in the back line. And my goat goes down with a salute. What is going on? They're going to get a mid-tier one here, JDG. They're going to be able to push out all three lanes. It looked like BLG had an insane position in looking for a mid-tier 3 there, but they just kind of got caught napping with the shockwave, so JDG could turn and the momentum was in their favor. BLG couldn't look for any kind of re-engage, it felt like. And uh, Ruler does fall, but that's four kills over to JDG. Just can't believe that the combos are starting to come alive for JDG. I mean, they do have an insane wombo combo if you can line it up, and we saw it right there. Uh, we do look have at the experience the now for Elk, so a little bit more survivability, but... It is a little bit, a little bit of a roughie. I feel like JDG actually has some really good team fight potentials coming in the next stone. We'll see the initial startup here. Though. Look at Yagao. So the ult actually hits Knight and Bin. Knight gets chunked out. Then they get land on top of a hostile takeover, and then Elk almost kills On. So On can't turn or help out the team. So Rakan's out. Nico's gone, and Elk has no summoners. How can they peel for him? If they go in, they're gonna die as well. JDG are grouped as, f as five. So uh, yeah, I think they just. Ability. Yeah, a bit of disrespect on the ball there. I think if they just respected the Urana ball and played it slow, Ash had no summoners, they would have had that tier 3, but a bit too rushed, a bit too quick, and now JDG are a little bit back in it. Level 16 on Orianna. Level up onto Knight, who has the flash available. Shun's off to the side. Actually, no, that is Knight off to the side. I always get confused with the minimap sometimes with the Nico. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Because as a caster, you look to the minimap yep. to get some like extra relevant information. You're like, wait, that's not the champion I thought it was. Uh, we do a actually big fight see here. BLG starting up Dragon already. It's going to be a massive fight, but Knight's kind of been marked. He's gone through a different angle here. 
arrow. arrow hit onto Rakan. Oh, Sheer's on the back line. He gets denied, though. Instant cease and desist. And Sheer is out of the fight. Three man shock oh. on top of it. Knight gets a two man pop blossom, and BLG have turned the tides of war. And JDG are left wanting. Rulers all by his lonesome. That is a full, fat, clean ace for BLG and game number one. What happened to Sheer? What happened to the Yone? He ults onto Elk, but then he you just blink and he's dead. There's no real follow-up at all. There was a nice shockwave, but that looked like it didn't really do any damage either. I... The cease there. and desist timing was huge, because instantly, as soon as Sheer hits that ulti, they all turn on him, and you have like two seconds of free firing. There's nothing Sheer can do there. As soon as he loses all those bonus resistances, it's over. Wow, that was uh, that was an interesting game. It's funny that they almost came back from uh, BLG being a little bit sloppy. It reminds me of the the BLG series up against was it Nip, where they were just like a bit sloppy yeah. and they lost the game for no reason, or they kept throwing oh. randomly. Oh my goodness, what a game number one! We we had it almost throw. <laughs> so Sheer uh... ults in, lands it onto Elk. There's an arrow on on. Elk gets knocked up, but then Maggie gets instantly charmed. Yona gets chain CC'd and dies. Shockwave hits three, yeah. does nothing. Hostile takeover hits three and does nothing. And then the game's over. Vin's just cleaning it's house. Like Wait, BLG have Jax, Zaya, Rakan. How did that happen? Jax, Zaya, Rakan? Nah, they have to ban Nico now, right? Nico ban and maybe Jarvan. I think BLG, Poppy ban and maybe Orianna. Now here's the Poppy ban. I thought maybe Poppy ban would be good here. Lee Ben, I think that's a mistake. I think Poppy on four flex here is insane. Greg has Poppy flex. I guess Trundle could be annoying. Oh my god. I guess Shinjao is good. I've been seeing a lot more of that champ, but I think Poppy there is kind of nice. Maybe they don't have damage. Akali goes pretty hard now. I told you, Akali goes pretty hard. Big mistake. I think they should have gone Poppy on four. That'll negate the Akali pick. I think Syndra has to be a pick here for Yagao, though. Has to be Syndra. Yeah, actual but comp, but I mean, one team does have Jack Sire account, so, uh... <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's still it's still not great, but hey, we get the Yagao Syndra versus Knight Ari. I'm here for it. Feels like we're going back to years ago. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's just hope that Ruler and Missing win out on this Rakan matchup now, because last time they played Run Out into Rakan, they got 2v2 killed. <laughs> we'll Surely this is the one yeah. where Elkanon... Really? lose their lane, right? They've won every single lane, it feels like. At some point, Ruler and Missing have to win a lane. It is just well, destiny. That sucks for mid. Ooh. Oh my god. That's really bad for Yagao, actually. Like, Yeah. I, I not mean, the end of the world, but... It's not. Oh, here comes the Ari trading pattern. Auto W, auto with Electrocute. I mean... Oh my goodness. This is going to be a little bit unlaneable now because Knight can just stand. He can't even get experience from the melee creeps. Oh my god, oh, it's a horror. No. He has to base in TP soon, I think. Yagao got one solo kill on Knight last game and now Knight doesn't want to let him play the video game anymore. Yeah. Oh, On's going to go in. Let's see if JDG can get the winning trade on bot side. Looks like they do. Halo Blades Ooh. Varus. Kind of easy to I do I realize so. we do need to probably sync up. I think you're a little ahead of me. I'm at 207, 8, 9, 10, Oh, can you pause 11. like half a second and play? Yeah. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Perfect. Let's go. The All beauty right. of virtual casting. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about mid lane having to have some troubles, though. Elk will have to burn an early back there with pressure on tower. I think he's scared of a dive, maybe. I think what happened there was Shun probably said, I can't cover you on bot dive if they, if they pull the trigger. And so Elk was like, okay, well, I guess I'll take a reset, maybe. Um... Just make sure I'm full HP. Gonna come back to bot and miss a lot of creeps, but mid is losing so many minions. Look at mid. Four creeps, yeah, AD carry really two. Real. Nice stun. Don't know if he can connect, though, with Ari having charm up. And the fact that Knight gets the movement speed out of there as well. Here on another new champion that's not Jax. Uh, it'll be the Gragas this time around. See Bin actually get a little bit of push there. We'll Whoa, what? Look at bot tower. Ooh, already that's two plates. level two and there's almost two plates gone? What? That's insane. How is that? Maybe Ruler got like the Hail of Blades and then just attacked the tower or something after that? Yeah, I mean, Elk wasn't there for the wave crash, I presume, but still. That's ridiculous that he's got so much tower damage already, like three minutes into the game. 
But uh, yeah. I wonder if Renata has Demolish or something. But Maggie's in a full clear towards spot. Ashwin's clearing towards top. And uh, yeah, even though Elk took that base, Runa gets knocked up. Uh... Really should be able to, okay, he doesn't hit the piercing arrow onto on, but he does get a decent amount of damage back to it. Uh, we've seen that some lanes are a little bit lopsided here so far in the game. Knight going to try to hit the charm, can't do it into Yagao. Shun going to go with his clone, try to get a gank, but won't find it either. Bot lane under pressure for Maggie, but he'll block away as well. Yeah, it's just mid and bot trade right now. Maggie wants to dive bot, Shun wants to shut down mid even more. Shun's taking a reset, but he's in Fog of War, so Maggie's not sure if the Wukong's spacing or running towards bot, so he'll take a reset of his own. If he knew where Wukong was, then he would have pulled the trigger, but... Yeah, Shun's looking towards mid again, actually. He's just trying to stop his base, make sure that his mid laner is safe as well. So, both junglers yet to, uh... Commit to these plays. The Doran's blade picked up for Maggie on first base. Mm. Ruler is obviously going poke Varus. That worries me a little bit for JDG, this poke Varus, because I think they don't really have any... DPS, they just have burst, and having burst against champions like Jax and Wukong isn't the best. Um, because if they can get on top of you and you can't outburst them, then you're just gonna die. Um, they don't really have any survivability tools either, other than the bailout. So let's see how they yeah. uh, how they navigate fights. We have early dragon presence potentially with Shun going towards bottom side, but we actually get a two v two pull it off in the bot lane again. Elkin on just trying to get the better of a ruler and missing, but. Shun going to make his visit down here potentially if JDG's bot lane had stepped up at all. Looks like just pressure is the name of the game right now and a little bit of vision control for Shun around the dragon. Yeah, it's a bit hard to start up the Drake right now. Elk needs that base and so does Ruler. Let's see if Elk takes it now. He does. But now it's really awkward. Actually, he's going to stay because Ruler's out of mana. Can we push this next wave in? It is a bit risky though. They don't have the best vision. If Maggie just Maggie's runs straight just down here. Shun oh, knows not gonna see him. He's like, oh. <laughs> I think he's going for oh, Gromp though, Shun. Doesn't... Shun's going for Gromp. Yeah. Maggie's going to show, but actually Zyra Khan is very safe. The W doesn't... Ooh. What? That W didn't hit? I that was swear sussy. it went over Elk, but I guess not. <laughs> and Knight's actually coming here, having made the roam with Shun. And Maggie, he realizes something is up. Something yeah. feels fishy here. He senses it. There's... A mid jungle waiting in that brush for him, but he kinda knows they're there. Shun sees Maggie, maybe he thinks he's recalling. And wow, Maggie goes in at the right time, doesn't even sweep or ward. He just waits for midwave to crash and then walks in and says, wow. Well, if I die, Ari's losing gold, and if they're not here, then I'm fine. So, fair enough. Doesn't All lose his grump either. For Maggie. That's actually huge. Oh, okay. Bin could look I, for I E flash it. here. He has Biscuit, he could go yeah. E flash R, auto W. On the level up, level 7 could kill him. I Let's see if it. He wants Here it comes now. On, on this melee. No, on one more range maybe? Hmm. Maybe he's waiting Knight's for actually... Knight. Yeah, and he's got the speed up there from the W2. Should be able to make it yeah, up here dead. easy. Oh, the oh cast. nice ult by Sheer oh! though. Oh! It's not enough. It was really hard to pull off. I hear the crowd in the background too. Knight does end up picking up that kill. He'll get back ended by Yagao, though, at least, on a little bit of a trade. Yagao doesn't really have the damage. He's trying to stack up to scatter the weak. Oh, my with God. That power unleashed, but it's not enough damage. Shear is back now after having TP'd. Doesn't really have much in way. I'm trying to clean this up here. Shouldn't he's in a bit of trouble, but should be able to get out. On is on his way as well. Well, I am a big fan of Merc Treads. My chat knows that. And if he didn't have Merc Treads there, Knight, he would have died. So, good purchase. Massive purchase there. Shun doesn't get the uh, stop on Yagao's reset. They're going to get Dragon for the trade. A bit unlucky because Yagao had cooldown on his Q. So, he tried to position backwards to fire his E, but he missed the stun on to Shun there. Maybe he could have got the Wukong Flash. At the end of the road, though. Just get some portal mid lane combat. Uh, with the rooms going down, <laughs> mid laner should be able to come back here at least. And we actually maybe get a transition up to this Rift Herald now with both BLG members, Bin and Chun, starting it up. Yeah. It should be pretty easy to secure. Gragas has no flash. He's kind of under tower. So is the Syndra under tower. And missing showing bots. So there's no real numbers disadvantage either. Backing wave bots for R Ruler and JDG. Maybe they want to make a play on it. It's a bit hard to dive the level 6 Zaya though. And Bin has TP. 
Just a little side point. I've actually been really impressed by uh, Sheer and Maggie so far. I know Maggie's a little bit more of a seasoned member, right? He's been playing like on the back sooning days in 2019, but like the fact that Sheer's been standing a little toe to toe with Bin, but we've also had really clean pathing from Maggie so far. It's been really good. He even gets the red buff from Shun. Yeah, Maggie slowed in quite nicely. I uh, might be in trouble here though. Yes, not got much tenacity. Go there with him. Knight could ult forwards, but it's a bit tricky with Syndra being there. But it looks like he's going to go for it. Maggie split off a bit there. Oh, okay. Well, I cast a curse the hell out of him. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. Knight will pick up the kill out of Maggie. That'll be two for Knight now. Uh, I think Maggie's pathing there wasn't great. I think if he ran with his Syndra, he would have been fine. But instead, he ran yeah. to the side. And that made it so he was split from the Syndra. So they could commit on him quite easily. But maybe want to herald mid here, or at least get Yegao's flash. Yegao knows something's up here. Able to suss it out at least a little bit. Does get the control ward away from them there. Shun has the Rift Herald. I want to see if they put it bot lane to try to get Elkin on a little bit of influence down there. Shun will get the hostile takeover used on him. Maggie's going to pull the engage, and now Shun finds himself in a Maggie situation where he needs to find a way out of this one. Piercing arrow does connect. On is there. The heal comes through. Soon is still dead to Maggie. Yeah, I think Ruler was considering our flashing there to get the kill, but it looked like a secured kill as Maggie was in range. And uh, the Wukong was low enough HP. On doesn't have the ult there. Has heal, but that's not enough. So first kill over to JDG. A little bit of life. They're actually ahead in gold still, though, despite being down these kills because of Ruler's CS advantage. Yeah, Gauss recovered a lot in creep score. Knight doesn't have the ult. Gonna have to flash the charm anyway. Ooh. That charm would have connected. Nice little flash from Yagao. Knight's been having some trouble connected though so far. The heart's going a little awry. But uh, he should have a lot of control now from mid lane. And I want to see if he can utilize that a little bit. If he gets a back out, try to get a roam with his uh, ulti coming back up. Because I think that mobility is really on BLG's side. It is, I think, as well. So he gets level 6 from this red buff. I think it's his pathing that was the problem. So he gets spotted out by Knight here, gets hit by the charm, unlucky. The ult timing was decent. But here I think if he runs up with Syndra, Syndra can cover him with the stun. Yeah, but he splits agreed. off. And then Knight sees that he splits off and Maggie dies. Bit of a mistake, but they managed to get Shun on the return a couple of minutes later. So Dragon spawning in 130. I think JDG definitely want to start sacking up those dragons. Gold's still in their favor. The Gragas is a great tool into the uh, Jax to just kind of negate any of his pressure. Clear the wave. Done him every time he jumps in. So it's basically a 4v4. How much can Ruler get done to help out this team? Yeah, I think that's going to be the big kicker. And I think that's the difference maker from last game to this game. Uh, Ruler will be able to actually do things in fights, it feels like, instead of a lot of the like utility that the Ash was bringing. Uh, I will say also, though, with the timing, Shun should be able to make a really good play with the Rift Herald to distract from the Dragon, potentially, have that kind of wombo combo. But it looks like it'll just be used mid about 50 seconds out from that objective. Yeah, just trying to get some plates. I don't know if it was expiring or anything, but... Could be to help Knight get his Everfrost. We'll see what he does. Now, that's just a small gold injection. If he pushes this wave base and TPs for this Dragon, then they're definitely fighting it. But also, means oh. he would have Everfrost. Trying to force out the ult's not going to get it. Very, very close. Like Knight sweating a little bit there, but feels very safe now that he uh, gets out and should get that back off. We do get the vision game from JDG now that BLG have released pressure on the bot side of the map. JDG getting the vision placed down. Ruder doesn't have his mythic yet. That stings a little bit. Nice trade by Yagao. Missed out on the WQ though. That's the Merc Treads doing its work, making it so Knight can run out of range of the spells after the stun. Maybe you want to force out a Zaya ult here. Not going to get in range. Didn't initially start heading straight down the lane towards bot side, but it looks like Maggie starting up the dragon might have awoken something oh. in BLG. As the back That's... gets stopped. That is actually really big timing. TP is available from Knight. And it looks like we might just get a bit of a contest here. He's going to TP bot, I think, here, Knight. Oh, no, he's TPing on the uh -huh. top side. The ping on the ward is not where he's going. No oh, flank available. Gone, dragon though. down. Oh, that's done. Oh, denial twice in a row. Hostile takeover right back. Maggie with a big crescent guard there, too. Sheer is in a weird place. Doesn't have the blast code. He's all by himself. Flashes himself to safety, too. A bit of a wonky fight. Splashes being burned everywhere. Yeah, top for mid flash so far. Knight and Sheer losing it. 
on trying to find an engage. It's a bit difficult against Sinzar, Renata, Greg, Asindra. There's so many things to stop the Rakan from dashing in. TP behind oh, Elk, no. though. <laughs> All right, Sheer's going to make the play. He's got the cast. The Featherstorm comes out. There is a TP coming in. Sheer and JDG realize this is not the play we were looking for. And they will have to look somewhere else because BLG respond right back and soon gets the kill. That was such a big mistake by Sheer. I don't know what he was thinking. Even without the TP, he's dead there. All of BLG owned the bot side of the map because JDG had to run out. He thought he could TP behind Elk and get a cheeky kill, but he doesn't even have any patience on his spells. He just instantly throws the E, so that means that Elk can just ult it and he's fine. Um, not only that, but he threw the ult as well, so I think just getting a bit too ahead of himself there with the play. He's to uh, make sure he keeps check on who's on the map and where because that TP sucked. Yeah, they were all literally immediately sprinting down here. Like here, it's a guessing game. Sheer can just throw his Q, for example, and maybe Elk panics uh, and ults. But instead, he just instantly it, e ERs. Maybe he thought that he didn't have ulti or something. Because, like, there's no way going maybe. into a Zaya fight like that, that you use everything at once, they not, like, thinking that the ulti is not there. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe he thought Zaya ult was down. Communications. Yeah, he could throw... I don't know if you have Everfrost, but he could throw Everfrost first. He could throw Q. Yeah, he had so many options. Yeah, it's those lines. Yep. Anyway, but, we'll hey. see. His job, anyway, is just to negate any fight. It's not really like being ahead or anything like that. He just wants to give Ruler a kill. But uh, Elk's caught up a lot from that, I think, in CS especially. Still waiting on that big item spike for him, though. Hopefully, be getting that pretty soon. Maybe actually gets it here if he goes ahead and backs. Uh, that is the Rift Herald, though, immediately started up from JDG. They'll take advantage of the map state, and they'll take this one for themselves. So, continuing a little bit of objective dominance for themselves. BLG had gotten the last one. We'll see if they want to contest for this. Elk did they not fight back. It. They should definitely fight it, BLG. Now, the question is, can On land the Charm Flash W, or is he going to get stopped? Cheers watching him. Smite is oh! a bit early. I don't know who actually got that one. I think it was Bin, or uh, I think it was JDG rather. And actually, a big hostile takeover belays a lot of the damage from BLG, meaning JDG can make it out of there. Bin is the only one hit by the cask, doesn't end up getting followed up on. JDG were the ones that got Rift Herald, but they will not get the eye. Maggie? Oh, no. Armed up. Taking down. Huge chunk of health. Elk with no ulti. Okay, he will end up using it. Thought he Might was going to use it forwards here. But Ooh, Knight going in. Can't get the big connection there. Does get the charm as Maggie goes in, and Maggie just gets obliterated. It's going to be a uh, four-man Cyclone from BLG, and Shun is smurfing all over JDG this year. It really feels like JDG overstayed their welcome again. They were just trying to fish for a pick, fish for ultis. They got the Zyld, trying to look for some kind of damage, but it doesn't really feel like they have any damage. All of their champs are there to try and peel and stop BLG from going in, so when they use their spells aggressively, like the Xin Zhao and the Renata Q, all of BLG can just jump on top of them. Summoners are blown, and they get the kills. That's just a 7-1 classic. And it's now BLG are going to run away with this game. It's feeling real rough. And I feel bad because the comp from JDG, I actually really like this game. And the fact they switch over to red side. Sheer on the Gragas was a little bit of a wild card for me. The rest of the comp I was really, really mm. impressed with. But uh, when things go down like this and those wombo combos start rolling, it's real rough. So they get the Herald. Shun Smite was a few seconds away. Nice body slam by Sheer to stop On's engage. So now the fight's kind of over. The Renata ult's used for disengage, missing flashes back, and Yagao's there to stop them from pushing forwards. Sheer goes to catch top wave and so does Bin. So now Yagao sees a window to maybe try and force the Zyld because Elk steps forward to try and hit Maggie after the charm land. So it's just kind of trade of spells, but now they've gone too deep because what happens here is Knight can ult forwards without any minions being there. So a charm is guaranteed to hit. And JDG are all trying to dodge the charm. So they're all stacking together thinking, when's this charm going to hit? Maggie dashes in. It hits him. Shun gets them as they're all stacked up. Follow through with flash to match them. And there's really nothing that JDG can play for. They kind of leaned to the bot side a bit too much and away from their tower. So it exposed them without a minion wave. I'm just surprised that they tried to go back through mid instead of going down through the river where it was a little bit safer. They like perfectly set up for that big cyclone over top of them. Now, though, back onto the map, JDG not going to back down from a fight, starting up their third dragon of the game, and maybe BLG want to fight yet another one. See how Shun approaches this. He has a really nice entrance through blue buff with W, but he doesn't have flash, so it means if he goes in, he's not coming out. 
Keep it coming in. On's going to land the engage. In. Double knockup from On. Elk's about to have a huge feather blade collar, and he's going in with Bin. Bin gets the flash on the back line, and Knight's back there too. Everyone's dying. Not like this. On is the only one that pays the tax for BLG, but BLG run rampant on the map. Yeah, this game's done. It's over. It's going to be a 2-0. JDG's comp has no way of coming back. This is the thing. All of their champs are burst champs. You're going to kill on with the Syndra ult and maybe Varus Q and then what? Where's your damage? You have one body slam yeah. for one of their dashes. You have maybe a Zinza ult for another, but you don't really have any way to kill them or get any, any damage onto the front line to make sure you can win these fights. I'm not really sure how JDG can even navigate this at all. The fact that uh, Knight has collected 18 pages of a very scary book is also terrifying. I think BLG will have full control over the map from here on out. And while I like JDG's composition, I think some of the early machinations did not go right. And some of the positioning in these team fights has been a little bit rough. It has. They're all stacked up in this choke because they don't have any vision. So On goes in and then On dies. But they've just invested the Syndra ult and the Varus damage. So now watch Ruler. He's, what can he really do in this fight? By the time he even tries to auto attack, he's stunned. And then by the time he tries to auto attack again, he's dead. So it's kind of like... <laughs> What are you peeling for? You're peeling for a champ that wants to play on a different screen in the first place. He doesn't even want to be in range of a Jax. But uh, yeah, the struggle. JDG have to rethink for game three. I think Shear's looking over there. Man, that Jax champion's really good. <laughs> like, I really want to get the Jax. Uh, I just, I don't understand how you can play against BLG and give them Jax Zyarakhan. I just feel like yeah. this is the three champs that I would try and deny from BLG the most out of anything. We'll see on oh, actually going on the ruler. Oh no. All right. Well, this game's getting a little bit ahead of JDG now. Ruler just gets completely trounced in the mid lane. There was no tower there, nothing. They were just trying to get some wave farm. We'll be right back to the Baron for BLG. This is weird, isn't it? BLG is destroying JDG. When was. When has this ever happened? It's never happened. 2024 is the year of BLG, baby. Let's go. JDG always just destroy BLG. They have a perfect match into them. But yep. now they swapped mids. And they have a sub jungler, and it just looks impossible for JDG. And again, I think they've had some moments to shine, but when it all comes together, the team itself, you're really missing those big core pieces. While Bin is the big core piece for BLG, he's on the back line distracting Yagao and missing, while the rest of the team picks the rest of JDG apart. Shear is by himself out in the dark. Scary jungle. He'll go down. BLG get the Baron. BLG get everything. It's such a mess. It is such a mess. And if you turn the nameplates off and you just keep the JDG in front of them, you know, this would be a 369 champ. He would play Gragas into Jax to try and negate that. Yeah. Kanavi would play Xin Zhao. These are, these are JDG champs, but they just look like they're just headless chickens running around. Even on that Baron, Sheer was trying to steal Nash with his Gragas assault. Missing was fighting <laughs> someone on his red entrance. I, I don't know what's going on. They just look so scattered. Uh, you know, praying for 14.1. That's what they're doing. <laughs> At this point. But yeah, change the map quicker. Very, very, yeah, please. <laughs> something, something a little bit different. Like, look I at this fight. Like, well, where is the comms here? So they're saying they're going to contest Nash, and they're trying to move up onto this Ari. But look how they split so quickly. Sheer is trying to walk in to get vision. They get engaged on the back lines going one way. Sheer's peeling, but then trying to steal Baron with his ult. Maggie's fighting, but not even flashing in the pit to try and steal or get vision. Missing's dead. Shears over the wall. Yagal's, I don't know, throwing red buffs at people. I don't know what the hell's going on with JDG, but they had no chance on that steal because I feel like they just didn't really position properly enough. But they didn't really have a chance anyway. They're so far behind. And it makes you think, I know this is a little bit introspective into a tournament that has no bearings on what next year is going to be like, but it makes you think how much Kanavi's structural shot calling and things like that in the early game moves really do make JDG tick. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's Kanavi. Maybe it's the Kanavi diff. It's hard to say. He because... is pretty good, I'd just say. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh no, Ruler! He oh, he's dead. killed by Knight on the back end after the flinch cl flash cleanse. Oh, the bag is just gone too. Okay, well, we've watched a horror movie for game number two, and the uh, the villain was BLG. I'll say the victim was uh, JDG. Here we go as the final touches of game number two come across. Have we ever seen a BLG JDG game be so one-sided? This was pure and utter so. destruction. I've never seen a game such at such a stomp between these two teams ever. Normally the games are either close or at least manageably close. But this was an absolute shellacking by BLG.
this was uh this was a very one-sided game and the thing is it it never felt like it wasn't like last game blg threw a little bit and jdg picked that up and ran with it this game they didn't even touch the ball <laughs> That was destruction. I mean, I don't know. Maybe when Kanavi's back and the match, like uh, the map changes, and maybe when Flandre is around, JDG will be a bit more competitive, I guess. I mean, we'll see game three, but it just looks like BLG is 10 times better right now. Udyr top into Rumble. Wait, uh, my man's been watching too much. I will dominate. This draft looks a bit better for JDG, but one team does have Rumble Zyrakan. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how they got Rumble Zyrakan, but here we are. But Lucian Milio is really OP. All right, let's get it. The Gio's ringing loud. Let's see if JDG can bring it back. I fear for this bottom lane. I'm not going to lie, Cajal. All right. I think uh, I think with one of my chatters said it, like Lucian into Rumble is not going to feel good later on. Uh, I don't think it's the end of the world, but they do have Rumble Zyre. I can't, like, I don't know what's yep. happening. How are we allowing these champs to be going over to BLG? But there is an Udyr top on my screen, and I have there no is. idea how Udyr into Rumble goes, but Udyr, Udyr um, is playing Ghost TP it, and Rumble doesn't have Ignite, so maybe Udyr can actually push him in a bit. Yeah, it's been picked a decent amount, uh, at least in the group stage, we saw it a, a decent amount. Quarterfinals, I don't think we saw it at all. It was mm. picked into Rumble a lot of the times, and you go like the, the AP build, and you actually can contest him in lane with your Phoenix form. Uh, but we'll see how Sheer does it. I'm excited to see what he can do against Bid's uh, Rumble. We'll see. We will. One out of two East connect. And gonna move up towards the lane. He's taking a lot of poke damage. He doesn't have door and shield either. Maybe he has second window. He wants to get his uh, passive on him, I think. Yeah, it's all about the Phoenix form. Just trying to get as him. much poke and push him off the wave as much as possible. At least that's what we saw. We've seen the last couple times. And it does a good job of negating the lane a little bit like you'll see pretty even cs differentials things like that the problem is rumble is still rumble late game in team fights yeah and he is gonna cook you he is gonna cook you up jg taking a bit of a bad trade there in the meteor lane into rakan now it should be a pretty easy lane for jdg in the bot lane it's really hard for rakan to, to land a knock up against lucian if he saves his dash and milio can always interrupt it too bonus range helps a lot in trading with zaya but exhaust down for elk and ignite down for on, so that makes it so JDG can sustain, heal up, use potions, cozy campfire to top themselves up, and they'll have summoner advantage. Oof. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to see where they if if there's going to be punishments because of that, right? And where those summoners are going to be burned. We already mm. got a little bit of that aggressive trading bot side. I think that could be an option for Maggie to go visit, and it looks like that could already be in his mindset. Oh, bot dive inbound. No exhaust for Elk. They need to focus down the Zaya. On's knockup might have to be flashed here by Maggie. All right, Doesn't they just go it. into it. Elk is going to flash. That's actually a really good flash. Ruler was the one tanking the damage. Maggie cleans it up, flashes out of the last turret shot, and that'll be a clean dive. 1 0 that's, for JDG. That's more like it. That's more Kanavi esque JDG. Stacking waves, bot play for dives. They didn't do that last game with the Varus. They actually were a bit too afraid, but this was much quicker, much snappier, much cleaner. Good stack, good dive. Ruda has a wave coming in, so he should just take a reset here and just uh, get as many items as possible. Missing needs to stop on from stopping Ruler. Looks like he will be able to do so. But that's great. So a great start for uh, JDG. It's much different than what we've seen so far. I think it's a big leaping off point for JDG. I expect Nagy to stick around here, try to get another gank going bot side. He will be aggressed by Shun, which this has been Shun's characteristic so far against Maggie, is pressure him as much oh, as Maggie's possible. Maggie's smart. Never mind. I thought he was wrapping around on the red, expecting Shun to be there, but instead he's just getting his red stolen away, and he doesn't even know about it. So he's gonna try and take the <laughs> the crab, he's going and he's gonna go though. behind Elk. Oh, he might run the game down here. It depends oh, if uh, if Shun senses that he's around, but he's not coming down the Lee Sin, so that's a dead Zaya, perhaps. I don't know if Maggie has the damage just yet. He'll have nah, the blade. Okay, he does. Yeah, absolutely. With that uh, cozy campfire right there, easy. Maybe it was genius by Maggie. Maybe he thought, well, Lee Sin could be on my red. What if I take Crab, Pink, Bot Side, River Brush, and if there's no ward, I can kill the Zion on the Crashing Wave? And that's what he did. It he is can't up prove to me that he didn't think about that. He's take it. Five yeah, head there, I'm just saying. Very smart. Sheer, wow, this matchup, oh my god, doesn't look very fun. Or does it? 
How the does shields Udyr... start getting kind of yeah. nutty if you can rotate them as much as possible? But uh, yeah, it looks like Ben definitely has a good understanding of how this matchup goes and uh, a lot more control than I'd say the last times I was seeing Rumbles go into the Udyrs. Gonna have to be a base TP here for Sheer. Ruler didn't get the assist on the second Zaya kill with his W, it was just a little bit out of range. But bot lane is where they need to start playing through. Oh, maybe Sheer fancies himself a fight here. Gonna run onto Bin. Could get the stun if he wants That's to flash for it. Be. The ghost is there. There's the Phoenix form. And Sheer oh my God. looking for the solo bow oh. on the Bin, baby. Bin just leveled up to six, but he ain't got no damage. He's on a Doran's ring. Sheer gets the kill with the boots chase down. And Bin ain't Ooh, going anywhere. Bad. I mean, Bin Rumble is a bit of a funny one, but still, that's a solo kill for Sheer. Uh, the biggest thing about the Udyr that I've seen, and it's even true, I've been watching some champs queue on 14.1. Uh, it's even true in the newer patches. He plays really well around low health. You never expect how big his shield can be, and he can pop yeah. it at any point when he has his turtle form. He has up, the right? W so um, hidden thing as well, where he gets a massive amount of health yep. too, I think. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's obviously he's not playing with Flash. I don't know why I said he can Flash after him. He just has Ghost. He can just run him down. Bin, that's what a bit he used right to here. Flash when he's getting Ghost on. But uh, yeah, maybe he thought he could play the bush. Yeah, it's a bit of a rough angle for Ben. And now Sheer having 1-0 means that that side of the map is safe. That means Maggie can continue to look bot lane. And you see he's running right up the lane to make sure that uh, Ruler and Missing are going to have an advantage down here. Yeah, he needs to sit behind them. Tops in isolation in this game. Mid is just whoever gets to bounce on the push can just move towards uh, the bot side of the map and they have to play to respect. But yeah, top with those swiftness boots, the, the rumble E is not going to slow him as much. So I think it's going to be really tough for Bin. You can see Maggie will spot out Knight here who has his one turn towards bot. But what will happen now is hopefully Yagao pushes out mid and then can move down himself. But it looks like he's just dropping mid wave. Maybe he's really scared of a play. Don't think JDG need to pull the trigger so early in getting that bot wave in. It should be able to be managed quite nicely. Shears proxying top. And uh, the biggest play of, of the uh, Udyr later on is just being annoying in the sideline, being unkillable and running away. Knight's looking to be unkillable mid, and there's the Pop Blossom dodged out of. The Tangle Bar will end up connecting, but it was already a kill picked up. Maggie's down. I feel like that was a bit of a misplay from Yigal. We'll see what happens here. Ruler looking for Elk. Uh, that's going to be double or at least the exhaust and the flash burn from Elk. So Knight used his shroud on the bot tribush when Maggie engaged on him. So he didn't have it. Oh, nice flash from Yigal, actually. Yeah, nice flash. I think he was going to die there, perhaps. But missing there to save him. Good, maybe he wants to go in again. It's going to miss the Q. But yeah, he didn't have the shroud for that initial start of the fight. And then he uh, instantly flashed out. I thought if Yagao matched his flash with Knights, then he could have gotten the, the kill straight away. But he didn't find it. Also a bit confused as to why he went to Oblivion Orb first. Not sure how much that offers in the lane phase against Doran Shield's second win. But Knights staying. That's very greedy. I am confused actually about that. Because there's not even that much regeneration on and, and like lifesteal on BLG. I mean, Knight I has mean, a little bit. Yeah. Not really. Knight has Fleet, second win, and uh, Doran Shield. Yeah. So I guess it helps at stopping that, I suppose. Hey, you just want to win lane. <laughs> He's just getting the little micro outflexes of uh, of Knight here when Knight picked the Akali. I do want to take a look back at this one, though, because this was a an interesting series of events. So the Akali W is on cooldown, I think, for about five seconds here. That's why Knight has to ult out here. I thought that they could kill because he's going to flash the side. If you go... Oh, he, did, uh, he can't react to that in time. It was too late. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, nice play by Knight. Here, going for some uh, some aggression. That big old shield doing him some what work. What is that, Udyr Zach champ? Back so much. And what? Just is giving up his life. Maggie what? gets his third kill of the game. What is that? That shield was Udyr, massive. That's, it's almost like he just popped gargoyle on top of four people. What the hell was that? Dude, Dom has got to be just like popping off right now on his stream. Nah, but now I can see why Dom got the Grandmaster top with that champ. <laughs> Do it without Odir, buddy. What the fuck is that champ? You're the deer, man. It's It's been nuts. And I love seeing it because it feels like uh, a lot of the responses aren't necessarily like up to par yet with the Udir. So we'll see what uh, BLG can do. But right now, JDG, for the first time in the series, it feels like, has a strong early game plan. They are not at a deficit. 
Yeah, maybe you can dash onto Elgar. Yeah, I was gonna say you can dash on him and get his uh, ult here with the culling. That's a great trade if they want to play towards Herald. Uh, Makes so BLG is a bit weaker on the move. Maggie's gonna find Bin here. He ain't got the damage to kill him. He can actually might even die if he oversteps. Bin's on his way. Uh, if uh, Maggie had stayed there, I think that goes really badly. But he realizes after missing a couple things and not doing as much damage, he doesn't need to go in. The Rift Herald is looking like the play here for both sides. We're going to get a lot of vision contest over here. Yeah, Herald is definitely the play. Rumble is on cooldown still. If Ruler and Missing want to join, but they should be looking for all in spot as much as possible now that the Zyold's down. If there's going to be any dashing forward, there it is. Instantly on the knock up. No pushback yeah. by Ooh, missing. Blake Ball is pretty big on the back end of it, though. Yeah, Ignite used. No heal used, but they've used the, uh, the melee ult. So, nice trade off for BLG, I would say. On's trying to I'll step up here. Up. Yeah, he has ultimate, and there's no the... ultimate on the on the melee. Yeah, he had the, the grand entrance coming up as well. Sheer just going to beat down Ben a little bit here. Fear the deer, baby! What is, is that? that? Be second one? No, the burn's not there anymore. On ended up using his ulti. I don't know how he got that far by himself. Probably just tried to go for an engage under turret. But that will be a lot of tools utilized bot side too. Yeah, it will be. Ult down means that JDG can stay. Ruler wants the base because he was scared of the uh, Rakan flash knockup. So that makes it easier for him to stay and catch his last wave. I think Sheer might build towards Abyssal Mask looking at those items. With Nico on his team against Rumble Akali, I feel like that Udyr might be on Killable if he goes Abyssal Mask. Uh, so we'll see what happens. A little bit of magic pen already for Bin. Knights appeared on bot side and they're going to put their bot lane mid. Dragon's up. KDG needs to get this bot lane back to base soon if they want to contest this dragon. And nobody cares about dragon apparently. This game we're 11 and a half minutes in. Uh, we'll see if that objective actually ends up getting to fruition. See if we get any soul fight. We actually see how on uh, kind of got overextended there. He was just going for it. Yeah, he wants to cancel the Ocean base. That's all. Um, yeah. He W'd over, missed, and he had to use the ult to get out. Otherwise, he was going to die. So, fair enough. Here comes the dragon side from BLG. They had tempo in bot because Knight moved down, and Elk's pushing out to mid. I think this might just be gone, but it's not the end of the world. Just the first dragon, and JDG still hold the gold lead. Now, this is something we have seen in recency of BLG is they do give out some early leads, but it's always around the 20 minute mark where you see them really buckle down and start getting those advantages and finding those big macro plays. Now, you're saying that against the likes of Ruler and Missing and JDG, but there are core pieces that maybe make that differential here for BLG. So I'm still looking at JDG keep driving this lead. Ruler needs to be in a very strong place if he's going to have impacts in the team fights. Ruler is really strong this game. Lucian Milio is the one of the strongest bot lanes on the patch right now. Gonna drop the Herald for it's him, get him a bit of gold. There's the dash away from the Rakan W. Needs to make sure he keeps that up. He can never really dash forwards. If he does, he'll die. He's got missing next to him for Peel. And their comp overall this game, JDG, they have a lot more playmaking, a lot more mid game potential, a lot more DPS as well. So much better than last game. A lot more tools to work with. They have push in top. Push in mid, they can start playing heavy towards his top side and chunking out this mid tower. They got three plates in mid for ruler Whoa. as well. That's a lot of gold and He's the so calling clean. on the back end. He is so clean. Needs to be careful of Shun though. They're going to use Ashrelias because I think they were scared of the Lee Sin trying to land the Q and then try and flash kick or something. But Yagao's chop it's... right now is just to catch waves, I think. Yeah, I, I think he's chilling. I, I think another big difference maker in this game is Shun has been very quiet. Uh, comparatively, to where a lot of proactivity was coming out before, the Lee Sin, not as proactive as Maggie has been on the Zin's out. No flash on Bin, doesn't get the stun sheer. Maybe could have got a bit of burst damage onto the Rumble. But you're right, the Zin's out is paying uh, dividends for Maggie, able to make these plays. I mean, Shun, you can never really count out the Lee Sin. I feel like people say Lee Sin... Yeah. Scale, gets outscaled and falls off, but to be honest, if you land one flash kick, doesn't matter if you're 10-0 or 0-10, and you hit it on the right targets, you're always kind of useful. So at least in, does kind of scale infinitely almost in that sense. That depends right, on playmaking. I got a question for you. What what is What are your thoughts on this statement? Yep. LPL Lucian is the only Lucian that scales in the world. LPL Lucian is the only Lucian that scales in the world. Dude, I feel like 
LPL nah, that's Cap. Are the only Lucians that I see ever. LPL Lucians everything. are the only <laughs> Lucians that might E flash forwards and end up in top of five people and die. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, all right, base, base, base. But, but, uh, but yeah, you know else, I mean, though? I feel like, oh, hang on a second, Bin. It is just dead. I think the TP might end up in BLG, try to turn it around. I think Knight has an angle here. Yagao with a big pop blossom. Maggie gets shut down by Knight, so that's a big amount of gold going back over. JDG trying to make something else out of it. On under tower, though, safe and sound. So it's ending up in a one for one. Nice kill onto Maggie helps out Knight a little bit, get him rolling on this Akali. Having that damage on the Akali is really important in shutting down the Lucian. But yeah, nothing else really comes of it. A couple summoners blown here and there. Mid push was dropped by Ruler because of the numbers advantage. TP bot by Yagao to catch bot wave, I think that is. No, it's Sheer. And they're just going to push out. So, KDG won't be too bothered by that. It kind of sucks to go even on plays, which you're calling, right? You're the one making this play and you're ahead and you're one going even in it. So nice match by Knight on TP. I think he actually had a big angle, but Yagao's pop blossom was really big to kind of reset a little bit. He did get, I think it was a 200 gold shutdown, something along those lines for Maggie, because he was pretty far ahead. Yeah, so Knight's uh, got that gold. That's huge for him. Um, it's a bit hard, though. I feel like it's going to be really hard for Akali to impact these fights. He needs a lot of summoners to be blown before he goes. What the hell is that? <laughs> He's full tank. He's full tank. He is. That's the dude here, man. It's it's really ridiculous. And the thing is, like I was saying earlier, it's the same thing in 14-1. <laughs> All right, Ruler oh, going for some oh, damage nice on the bot lane. By oh my god. And this is why Ruler is the centerpiece of JDG. Yeah, he has the Gale Force too, so he can dash forwards. And if he sidesteps the Rakan W, he can use the Gale Force aggressively. And if he can't, then he can use it defensively. So it's so hard for the Rakan to land anything. And that'll get them a mid-tower. TP in by Yagao to make sure they're safe in case Knight and the Or Shun want to pull the trigger. They have flashes up. But yeah, um, not too bad overall for JDG. They need to maintain this lead, get the Herald, take a reset, fight the next Dragon, and then they should be pretty dandy going into the mid-game. Yeah, I think the, with the lead they have, they can continue pressing it as well. Uh, the Dragon is the next biggest question for me. Like, it, it's been pretty... Plain and simple that the dragon isn't a big focus so far in the game, but if BLG continues stacking that one up, that is something they can rely on later on. Uh, and we already see BLG going down to put a lot of vision around that already. Well, ben is bullying Sheer a little bit, mainly because Sheer has no vision on the bot side. If he had vision and his support and jungle were on the map, he would have ran Bin down there. But dragon started up. Yakao doesn't have the TP. I think they're too late, maybe. But maybe they can slow them down. Knight doesn't have TP either. I think they should try something here. Maggie's yeah. going over the wall. Maggie had the wind becomes lightning, gets that extra distance on the audacious charge. Now, Vin is on his way. Ruler is here too. Ruler has a big angle here. It's Maggie that takes the dragon as well. He ends up getting it away, but now JDG are running for the hills. They might have gotten split up a little bit too much. Breath of Life comes out, but it's too little breath, too little late. And Knight gets the kill in the end on Vin, or on to Missing rather. And that's already BLG picking up multiple members after giving over the dragon to JDG. Yeah, good dragon denial from Maggie, taking it away, but they were too split again. Sheer was off to the right over the dragon pit. Maggie was stuck in the pit with missing. Ruler couldn't hit, and Yagao was a bit late, so they have to use flashes defensively. I think that's the worst thing. Their mid and bot lane just lost all their flashes, and they got um, two kills there, BLG. So that really stings for their comp. You really want the Lucian to have flash to be able to play aggressively and the Nico to have flash to impact fights. So that means around this barren area for the next three or four minutes, it's going to be really hard for JDG to contest despite being ahead. The fact that Knight himself is the one getting the shutdown plus the extra kills here. He is mm. a lethal threat now in this game. Look at Maggie here. He knows Shun wants to kick him away when he walks up and lands the Q. Watch this. Q walks up, war jump. He E's the dragon straight away knowing that if he gets kicked away, he can't smite it. So the smite was good, but Ruler, look at his positioning. How can he hit anyone? Shears off to the side. Oh. Yagao's late. Oh, burn, baby, burn. You get cooked just the same. Udyr goes down. Shear dies in the tower, and the bot lane goes away. They can't cross map either. either. They have the Herald, but the wave's dead. They could Herald without a wave, but it's going to take a bit too long. See what uh, Maggie does. He might just have to end up Heralding that top tower. He's a bit indecisive right now. He's scared that On can collapse. They're going to move towards mid. Maybe they can look for a play. Elcat use the exhaust. They found missing. 
Oh, Shun gets him. No, it's Elk who picks him off in the end. Now Shun, a little bit less out to die. Does end up giving a kill over to Ruler. We're looking Ruler cook here. Down a little bit, but Knight has been found by Maggie and JDG. And BLG get something. They trade something back. And now JDG have a little bit more presence on the map. It's a bit messy there. The camera was on top side. I thought Maggie would herald, but it looked like Elk was fighting mid. I don't know how he got in range of exhausting someone, so we'll have to see that again. I just saw the exhaust on cooldown as the camera was topside. Oh. So sheer face check spin. Ends up trying to run away. And uh, I think maybe there's some kind of re-engage that happens here. Yeah, sheer must have re-engaged because Shun was around by the time sheer starts running away. My god, he's not taking any damage, is he? But then Shun arrives, not so he really. has to ghost out, and now he can't turn. What happened mid? How did... Sh Oh, Ruler must have dashed forward and Elk just threw the exhaust out. Kick. Oh, oh nice movement by him. Ruler. Yeah. That was threading the needle, honestly, right there from Ruler. Because he didn't have flash or anything. Uh, all right. Well, JDG ended up using the Rift Herald top side. Got the outer tower. Now, Maggie playing pretty aggressively. Rightfully so. As BLG try to retreat back to the tier 2. That'll be JDG's marking point. I have a bit of background noise, but hopefully it's okay. I haven't heard anything. It's all good. Uh, I don't know if JDG can do anything proactive here. I mean, you have another minute and 45 for the dragon, but I feel like JDG are really looking to try to catch somebody out here. Yeah, gold's even now. Baron Vision contest. Still no flash on Ruler and Yagal, though. I'm wondering now, Ruler playing so aggressively with... Uh, his second item spike, as well as the plated steel caps, feels real good. We did just get a void staff completed second item for Knight on the Akali. Yeah, he kind of needs to against the Abyssal Mask. He's going to start frying. Lots of Merc Treads as well. We'll slowly start being built. One on the Zins out. Maybe Melio goes for it as well. We'll see. And uh, nothing to really play for right now. Dragon's up in a minute. Maybe we'll have a fight around there. Would wonder that we're not getting set up around there already. Shun is looking for Vin. He's like, Ruler is there. He, I know his flash is coming up soon. See if we can make a play around it. Ruler not going to be deterred from taking that mid lane. And uh, right now, it should be BLG just backing off. When's the dragon setup going to happen? When's everyone going to transition down? Is BLG going to cross map the top tier one and try and bait out this Baron? All going to be about the mid push. I think Ruler can start to dash forwards and... Forced the mid prior. Oh, Yagal almost got caught there on the minimap. The pings were coming in. The blast cone saved him on the Chemtech soul map there, I think. Might have lost his flash. Now he knows something's up. He knows that Ruler has so much mid push and it's so uncontested that something must be happening on the top side. It's like they won't be able to find the angle. They're going to bring Knight there. Shun is still around. Hasn't started backing off or anything. They will try to get Yagal to stick around. A little bit of preemptive damage there. Oh, as you well. got they are the W. Really cooking this right here. And it will oh, be Yigal. Pop Blossom into the death. You know, as soon as you miss that, you're gone. Yagao kind of panic W'd and then panic ulted as well. He knew something was coming, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I think it was going to be a 1 for 0 no matter what. Yeah, it does mean the dragon goes over. Oh, I love that bit. What? Hey, what? Why, why did he do why that? Not, I guess. I mean, there, there's a Baron on the other side. I don't know, maybe there's nothing, no contest there. So they're like, yeah, just burn the ulti. It's already on like a quarter of its cooldown gone. I mean, I can tell you if they were 2-2 in this series, he's not rumble ulting Dragon to try and steal it. But he's 2-0 <laughs> up, so fuck it. Why not? Let's try it. Uh, I do want to check in, though, because we are finally getting close to at least the second items for some core members. Obviously, Ruler's been there, but I'm really looking at, you know, second, third item for Yagao for him to be really useful for Maggie to use that lead that he started off 3-1 and one with. Now, not able to really keep up uh, in terms of that pressure that he was providing. Mm. And JDG not really finding another avenue for that. BLG are starting to carve a lead out. The problem is Knight is 4-0. This is really scary. Yeah. And it's kind of hard because the Nico, Lucian, Melee are all so squishy. Knight will just one-pop them if he can get access to them. They have a little bit of peel with the Melios in Zao. But I feel like Yagao's ult might have to be used defensively against the Rakan, Lisa, and Akali rather than aggressively onto Elk. Definitely not what you want. I mean, we've seen Yagao do some insane flanked pop blossoms to win games for JDG. And before, at least, it... Uh, now, I, I want to see if they can try to 
finagle an angle like that, right? I think that's really the, the way we in because then it gives you a lot of room for Ruler to put in the damage. Yeah, Ruler needs uptime. He really needs uptime. He's gone for plated steel caps to help him against the Lucian, I presume. Uh, the, the Zaya, sorry. Ooh. Just Breath of Life is already here. used. Ruler is using everything defensively. Luckily, he has all that mobility to get him out of there. DP. LG almost caught him. Now we're going to get the refight mid. They actually caught out Elk here as well. Sheer is a monster on top of him, but now he's getting cooked alive. Ben has showed up, and the Blade Caller makes it so. Knight gets another kill. Oh, it's Give nighttime. Oh! <laughs> Give him the Penta, damn it. I want to see it. He's going to get burnt out by Maggie. He wasn't able to get any more, but it is BLG who took that lead that they Bin? were carving what out. What has Bin doing? What is... Face. I don't know. Uh, oh, Maggie. Maggie. Okay. Oh, missed the knockup. Oh, oh, wait, what? I wanted a Penta, and it might go to Maggie. He got the turnaround here. Shin might be out of here, though, with that blast code. What a chaotic series of events. What in the hell just happened? Eight people just died in mid lane. All because <laughs> Ruler stepped up too far. Yagao TP's yep. in. Wasn't really able to offer anything. Knight played it almost perfectly on the dive to get two. Let's just look at it again though. If Ruler didn't have steel caps here, I think he's dead. So on flashes, Elk exhaust. They pop the ignite. They get everything onto the Lucian. They don't get the kill. Here I thought the play was over. But then Yagao TP's and Sheer arrives. They go on to Elk. But see, he still has the ultimate. So you see Yagao throws the Q. Ulk's ult is popped by Elk. Hard for Yagao to go in. Sheer dies. Now watch Knight's mechanics here. He's going to R2 forwards. He's going to kill missing. And then he's going to Proto Belt, Q, Dilution, and then flash out from the Nico ult, which was God. almost perfect. Now they all flash in without a wave. Elk can't help. On can't help. They're basically 3v2 diving. And Maggie's there. Night now one. they're out. But oh. now how does how does they all go back? At, what are they doing? Look at the, the these three. Turrets, man. Why are they doing that? They could have just 4 for they could have just four for 1 them in a fight. But they all step yeah. up. And Knight walking at that one moment, take that one tower shot, I feel like makes like cascading effect for Maggie. Uh, he doesn't end up getting a Penta, but he gets real close. And I was looking for Maggie to step up. Well, now he's seven and three and on three items on the Xin Zhao. So I think we found another carry option, at least for JDG in the forefront. Yeah, Maggie's back in business. You said he was 3-1, then he was 3-3. Well, now he's 7-3 um, and he's very strong. Level 14, three items. Shun's barely completed his second yet. He's not even close towards that Black Cleaver. Might be about 300-400 gold out. Wants to take a reset now, but needs to play for Vision. Dragon's up in 50 seconds. That'll be the sole point for JDG. Uncontested, I think. Look how strong they are on Midwave. That's uh, a little bit dicey, I feel like. We do have another Dragon coming up. And JDG continuing to stack that with this Chem Dragon would be pretty big for them in terms of continuing to bolster the little bit of a lead they have now. It's very, very close, though. Should be the reset now from Ruler. Probably looking at his third item now. Yeah, I think he's building towards that rapid fire. Makes it so much easier for the Lucian to trade on mid-waves. You know, you have the, the range from the Melio W, the speed from the shield, and then the uh, the rapid fire, too. So you can just kind of dash forwards, get a nice chunk on Desire, and then back off. If they engage on you, you can use the Gale Force defensively to avoid any kind of engage. If Knight sees him, though, he dies, right? Like, that's going to be a ne that's gonna be a Rabadon's third item. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I think that with the Melio heal, ult, shields, and yeah. if a Q lands nicely, or oh, Ruler is really weird that Ruler's dashing forwards and culling that midwave. He didn't even have his support with him, so it's just Chat his own damage. Boy. Yeah. Ooh, Wasted, Maggie's maybe. Just going straight in. He does have a nice little... Frontline action going oh, here. Get him, Maggie. Gals looking for a big pop blossom. Gonna connect on the two. The equalizer is actually doing some decent work here as long term damage for BLT. What are they Sheer. doing? Finds the back line, but look at Knight. He's literally cleaned house. And that's gonna be a full on what? clean ace from BLG. What did we say? You always have to pay attention. And BLG smash JDG. But what in the fuck are they doing? They're, they're ahead. They have a mid wave. And then they're just tunneling in a choke against Rumble, Akali, Rakan. They're literally all standing there trying to play front to back in a choke. What is happening here? Look at this positioning that they're playing. Sheer's not even here. Their Udyr's not even close. This is 5v4. Maggie runs in a straight line and engages. Look at his back line. Look at this Rumble. Look at where everyone's standing. How do you play this fight? They have so much space to work with BLG. And JDG are just running at them like... <laughs> Like, they're going to win the fight like they're 10k up. 
and the whole time Knight is just literally carving the back line. Ah, it just feels really bad. But BLG, they have that good decision making and they're making it so. That Rabidos we were alluding to, well, it's done. And he also has the Fiendish Codex too. That's 5,000 damage from Knight. But the biggest thing I want to highlight is that equalizer underneath all of them in that choke point. That was huge. Yeah, I just made it so the space shade he had was minimalized, kind of, and then Knight finds Ruler, and that's it. Once Ruler's dead, oh god, Ruler might be dead again here. Definitely in a lot of trouble. Uh, I JDG TPing Knight. there is a little bit rough. Missing's gonna actually flash up the wall. Maggie just goes in. That's bold. He's got the Crescent Guard there. Oh, here he Fucking goes. Knight. He was golden. That Pot Blossom's gonna miss everything, though. They try to get Knight. Knight's on the back line now, too, but the rest of the team... Oh my he god, he's up. clean. Ruler's he is clean. Victory. And Knight is just too damn good. They call him the golden left hand for a reason, and he has shown on BLG. The speed in which he got that kill onto Ruler was, you blink and you miss it. 30 second respawns on JDG, I think that might be game. God, I hate that we've gotten three O's for both semifinals and also the finals, but man, BLG make it look good. They do. Wow, BLG, 3-0 JDG. I think this is the first time ever BLG have beat JDG in a best of five. It is? In, in, in all of 2023, in all of 2024 now, uh, we actually get a real nice trendsetter for BLG, it feels like. BLG fans can rejoice, but it is something where BLG look good. Are you buying the hype train ticket or what, Kato? Yeah, I think with Knight, this team is just better. I think Knight is the better mid. Yagao is a really good facilitator, but I think this, needed, this team needed some more firepower. And I think you've got Bin, Elk, and now you've got Knight. I think this triple threat is insanely hard to deal with. So I think BLG is a better team. And I think they will continue to be even after Kanavi arrives. We'll see if the JDG dynamic changes when they put Flandre in. But I think BLG didn't really break a sweat this entire tournament. They just kind of destroyed their way through everyone. Yep, they did. I don't, like, there were some games, like I was saying, they were giving leads early. But it didn't matter every time you get to 20 minutes and they just out decision make you and you're done for. It is, it's just really cool to see Knight working really well with Shen. I think Shun had an insane tournament. I think he had some really good performances. But to, the biggest thing you pull away from a tournament like this where we're on an old patch doesn't matter as much, I feel like, as normally where we're playing on preseason mm. is the team communication. And that's what I saw for BLG. And that's what gets me excited for this team. Yeah, they look like they're all on the same page. I mean, I don't even think they were pushed at all in draft either. I mean, they just picked the same two or three champs almost every game. They never really were tested. How many games did they lose this whole tournament? One? They lost uh, one I think they went 3-1. Yeah. I'm going to make sure real quick. I think they went uh, they 9 and one. one game to, to RNG. One game to RNG. And they 3 0 Nip, did they? Yeah, they did. Uh, yeah. yeah, they 3 0 both after. Wow, so they lost one game to RNG. Not even close. Not even close, man. I love it. Uh, I just want to say, Cage, well, it's been an absolute pleasure to get to cast some games with you for Demacia Cup, man. It's oh, like thanks, man. Come true. Uh, oh, it was really fun. real fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, we'll see what uh, 2024 has to offer, but thanks again, and uh, it was a fun Demacia Cup, my dude. Yeah, Mazel, thanks a lot, bro. Everyone check out Mazel cast soon. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, bro. See you soon, bro.